Share your love and creativity for baking. Bake more memories with tried and trusted Royal Baking Powder. Previously on the Taste Master SA, after working in teams of three, Max, Lacerjo and Molly came out top, saving them from elimination. With only one royal baking powder pin to be won, Lacerjo and Max decided to give Molly the advantage. Then in the elimination challenge, the bottom six had to create a unique cookies and milk combination. For Palesa, the pressure of going home became too much, leading to her downfall. Things are getting tight. The heat is really gone up and there are a lot of side glances, so it's a bit tense. Welcome to the top eight. It's a new week and a new challenge. Mama made it. <laughs> we just have uh, seven more people to go home, so. <laughs> the competition is really starting to get intense with the emotions that have been taking over. I think people are feeling it now. Max, you graciously gave up the Royal Baking Powder Pin to Molly in the last round. Now, do you consider that a smart move? <laughs> Molly worked super hard on our pud stills, so she does deserve to have the Royal Baking Powder Pin. She hasn't had it before, but I really hope that the advantage is not so hectic that it puts her way above the rest of us. Mm. <laughs> this week's theme is going to challenge you like you've never been tested in the Taste Master kitchen before. Because today you will be baking for some of the toughest and most ruthless critics we have ever had on the show. <laughs> That's right. You'll be baking for kids. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of experience with making kiddies cakes. So I'm confident with this challenge. To help us along the process today, we've invited a guest judge who is a recipe developer, a food content creator, and a mom. Please welcome Keshri Chandria. I followed her on social media for a very long time, and I was so inspired by her making videos from home during lockdown. That's what also inspired me to go out there and make videos myself. Keshri will be sharing some of her insights and inspirations in a personal masterclass that's focused on today's challenge. Are you guys ready to bake? Yes! yes. I actually didn't know who she was. Did a bit of a deep dive, and she does amazing things. I'm Keshri and I am a food content creator, a recipe developer and a food photographer. My kids are a huge part of what I bake because ultimately they are my taste testers. So whatever I bake at home has still to appeal to them. But it also has to be something that I like. I can't only be catering for the kids. In this challenge I'm looking for creativity. All of the contestants know how to bake. All of them can bake a cupcake, they can bake a cookie. So I want to see what sets their cookies and cupcakes apart from the rest. Kids eat with their eyes. They want stuff that is colorful, bright, and eye-catching. They may be your harshest critics, but they want things that work for them. So keep it simple, but make sure it tastes good. <laughs> So today we are going to be doing cakesicles because I think these are a little bit different. There's lots of options, there's lots of flavor combinations that you can work with and it's also you can be as creative as you want to. I think there was a phase on Instagram where they were very popular but I've never tried one so I don't know what to expect. It's a pretty basic sponge cake. We've already got our butter, it's room temperature and we're going to add our sugar to it. We are going to beat this for a few minutes. This is the most important step because this is what gives your cake stability and once you have a stable cake you can do anything from there after. Tips I'll be holding on to from Keshri is about stabilizing your cake batter. It really matters how you start off mixing your butter and your sugar to make sure you have the right structure for whatever you're baking. We've mixed in our eggs now. You can see the consistency. It's a little bit more liquidy than it was but we've still got the body and we're going to add in sour cream. So you can use milk, I prefer using sour cream. It gives the cake a little bit more richness and it's a lot more moist. I am going to be using two types of flour. Um, I'm using cake flour as well as self-raising flour. When you have only cake flour, it's very light, very fluffy, but the texture changes when you add a bit more self-raising flour. It gives it a little bit of a, almost like a roughness, which is what you need when you're making cakesicles. 
I've never tried using two different flowers, but I'm looking forward to taste the sponge. Now I'm going to add in our royal baking powder. We're just going to have a teaspoon of this. So that is all our ingredients in now. I've never heard of combining the two flowers. It's a technique that I probably would use going forward if I'm looking for a specific texture. Now we're just going to pop this into the oven for 20 minutes. We want a flat top cake. <laughs> So we're gonna do baking it at a lower temperature for a longer period. And once it's ready, we can start our cakes. I think the tip that she gave about cooking it at a lower temperature so it gets flatter, I think that's a really good tip. So our beautiful cake is ready. Now we're gonna make the filling. We've got our cake, it's beautiful, but we're gonna crumple it all up now. And now we're gonna add in our frosting. Okay, the mixture that we're looking for is, it needs to hold its shape, but it must not stick to your hands at all. If it's sticking to your hands, you're gonna have a mess, it's gonna to stick to the chocolate, it's not gonna work. So what we're just trying to do is we're gonna add in the frosting a little by little until we get the consistency that we want. You can see the cake is pulled away from the sides, it's all holding its shape in the middle, and that's what we want. I'm gonna take a little bit in my hand, and see it, it's not sticking. We've got our mixture ready, we're gonna move on to our molds. So I've melted chocolate here, my tip, use a paintbrush. I learned how to use a paintbrush to get to the corners of the mold. I normally just go in chocolate and just like swirl the whole thing around. Hope for the best. We need to pop the stick in it now. We just want to create the gap so that once we put the filling in, it makes it easier. I've baked cakes before. They take a lot of work, a lot of chocolate. They're not very difficult, but one wrong move, too hot of a kitchen, too much chocolate, and you go from cakesicle to cake mesicle. So you gotta be careful. And they are ready to go into the fridge for a few minutes so that they set and then we can pop them right out. I despise making cakesicles because it takes so much time and no one really appreciates it. No one takes the time to say, oh, it's so lovely, and then and it's gone. So our molds have just come out of the fridge and it's the moment of truth. Wow. Your cakesicle. <laughs> the cakesicles are beautiful. The colour combination, very nice, impressive. These are already quite sweet. What I found is a very quick and easy way to get them looking pretty but also not over sweet. You just add a bit of sprinkles. All you need is a little bit of water and run it through the top. That's it. Ek is mal oor die kleere wat sy gebruik het, die sachte pastelle en die dekor wat sy opgesit het. Um, dit lyk prachtig, dit is rarig mooi gedoen. And those are our hexicles. Thank you, Keshri. Thank you so much. Hi, guys. Hello. I come bearing gifts. Molly, would you mind? So, guys. You must be wondering what the next challenge is all about. So, let's dig in. Have a bite. Oh, Swim Fritz. Yeah, I know, there's, there's a trick up your sleeve, I know. <laughs> I am pleasantly surprised. The cake inside tastes amazing. Um, it's very sweet. I like the white chocolate though, and I like the colors inside. <laughs> so guys, I mean, this is not your first rodeo. You can see there are two colors. This will indicate your team members. So blue, you'll be team blue. Red, you'll be team red. You will be two teams of four competing against each other. Ek is blij op gewoon weer die team challenge. Ek is in die blauw team en ek is baie happy met my teammates. I'm team red and I actually love my team members. We are going to ace this. The cooks are still are back together. Obviously Fifi struggled without me at her side. So fear not South Africa. I'm working with her again. She'll be okay. Coming up, the contestants meet their special judges for their toughest challenge yet. Why not order from your oven? With precision, raise your standards and make it matter. AEG, challenge the expected. Share your love and creativity for baking. Bake more memories with tried and trusted Royal Baking Powder. Right, so you've established your teammates for the next challenge. Team Blue, Team Red. On that point, 
I would love to introduce you to two special guests, Rian and Ryan. These twins have a passion for delicious bakes and are keen Tastemaster viewers. These guys are very amped because they're having a birthday party. And you guys will be catering. Oh. <laughs> I wish it was my birthday. I think I still qualify as kid. <laughs> Kids are very tricky. They're a tough crowd to please. So I'm not seeing it as easy. It's as hard as any other challenge we've had. Each team will need to produce four different bikes. One definitely needs to be a cake-based bike. For the rest of the items, they can either be sweet or savory, your choice. But there needs to be enough for 20 hungry kids. Dit mean ons moet 80 items item op die ouwe einde. So ja, hou maar duim vast, laat ons elke in ons ding kan doen. And now for the matter of the Royal Baking Powder Pin. Molly, you will have 15 minutes, one-on-one -on -one time with Keshri. The two of you will be brainstorming and forming some ideas which will give you and your team an advantage in this challenge. I thought Lisekho and Max might regret giving me the pin, especially now because they're in the opposite team to me. Um, but that was their choice. I think it's quite a cool advantage to be able to chat to Keshri and get some ideas, but it's okay because I think that if we also brainstorm as a team, we'll be able to level things out. In the previous challenge, I was the one that suggested that Molly take the Royal Baking Powder pin. Max was not happy because I think a part of her felt like she's the one that deserved it because the bake was predominantly her idea. And I, I thought that because I've had it, she's had it, Molly deserves to have a chance to have the pin. But she wasn't happy and I was like, don't be greedy. Do you think like cookies and like what other elements, sweet elements do you yeah. recommend? So cookies will always work. You just need to find a way of getting them to be as colorful as possible, I would suggest. If you want to do a cake skull, use a brownie filling and the brownie might be a bit quicker than the mm. cake filling. You could slice it up and then just drizzle a little bit of like white chocolate over it. Flavor wise, stick to the basics. Stick to the basics. Here, um, your audience is not one with big flavors. They want simple flavors, vanilla, um, peanut butter, those sort of things. Mm. Stick to the basics because that's what's going to get them through. <laughs> Keshe and I's talk was very helpful. The information that she's given me, I'm obviously going to go back to my group and like, we're all going to talk about it. So hopefully the ideas that she's given us, they'll really take into consideration. Today's challenge is certainly one of the toughest ones we've had in the Tastemaster kitchen. So best of luck to all of you. You will have two hours for today's bake. Once your time is up, we'll pack up your bakes and head out to an epic party location Ooh. where your hungry judges await. <laughs> so what are we baking for? Well, each member of the winning team will walk away with an AEG three-piece cookware set to challenge the expected in the kitchen. That will really complement my kitchen when we're done with the show. <laughs> Full of KitchenAid appliances and AEG appliances. Just say. <laughs> Remember, the winning team will be staying out of elimination for the next round. That means the losing team will then go up against each other in the elimination. So best to stay out of it. Right, let's get ready to bake more memories. Good luck, everyone. Your time starts in three, Two, one, let's bake. <laughs> Team Red is taking their kids on an outer space trip with our galaxy themed bakes. I'm making galaxy brownies. We got some cupcakes going down over there, pizza. So our game plan is to split up what we're doing so that we're all kind of working on our own components. The game plan for Team Blue is we've got, we actually want to do six components, but we're going to try with four first and see how we get on. So I'm making brownie pops. Damien's making these kind of dip baked donuts. Lizelle's making these meringue popsicles and Nolan's going to be making pizza twists. So I'm currently busy piping in our donut batter and we've thrown a bit of the rainbow in there. So when the kids bite into it, there's a bit of color, there's excitement. We're keeping the flavors vanilla of the actual donut, but the toppings, we're gonna play with a bit of cotton candy, bubblegum flavors, just to like give a little of a twist to it. Using my Pamela fat-free yogurt, I'll be making my naan bread that's gonna form the base for my pizzas. And then next up, I'll be working on my waffle mix for the chicken and waffles. And I'm really just hoping that I'll get everything done because these are our only savory elements and I'm working on both of them. Brownies luckily are actually not the riskiest thing, which is actually why I chose it, because there's so many other cool things that I want to make that I don't want the main bake to fail or flop. I'll be making cupcakes. 
I'm using my royal baking powder in my chocolate batter so that my cupcakes become soft and rise very well. I'm baking chocolate and vanilla and then I'm going to be filling my chocolate cupcakes with whipped cream and hazelnut spread so that when the kids eat the cupcakes they'll get a surprise inside. I'm actually making toffee sweets. The most risky part is literally the sugar because you need to watch it like a hawk. It's super easy to burn caramel so once it gets to that red temperature there's no going wrong. I'm enjoying my team so far. We all have our own elements. We all know what we're doing, but we're not afraid to ask for help, which is nice. Go team! Go team! How's it, guys? Hello. Uh, how, how are things going? Um, so far, so good. I think we're on track. We are on track. She's starting on the brownie sickles. Brownie sickles. I like that. <laughs> I was inspired by Keshri's cake popsicles. That was the first time I tried one and I don't like the mushy texture. So I wanted to go a twist on her route and just do a solid brownie, but on a stick. I call it a poor man's brownie. Why? Because <laughs> Nolan and Damien, when I told them the recipe, because it uses cocoa powder, not real chocolate. Okay. And it uses oil and not butter. And both of them were like, <laughs> okay. And it always works. So when they were upset with my brownie, I was a little bit offended. <laughs> Ooh, I see eggs, I see sugar. Are we making meringues? I am, I am, according to your suggestion. <laughs> it's one of the things Molly and I discussed. Oh, very clever. That's yeah. been very helpful. So Lizelle, what's the, what's the point of the meringue? What's the We are the doing goal? meringues on sticks, like a lolly. Okay. Oh. I'm doing uh, orange, yellow, and purple. And then are we twisting it along it yes. in different colors? Yes. Or? Oh, that's yeah. what it looks like. Yeah, on the stick. Yes. Yeah. That's interesting. I've never seen it like that. And when I was little, it was called scime piece. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> What's in here? So I'm making a sauce for pizza. Uh, I know kids don't like onions. They don't like to see their veggies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got my tomatoes in the oven. I've chosen to use cherry tomatoes because they are sweeter. Mm -hmm. And then blend it all up at the end. Is it mini pizzas? Is it a so you know um, cheese sticks? Yeah, yeah. Cheese sticks. Yeah. yeah, but like a pizza. Okay, interesting. Yes. Just check it with that, like that shape of it exposes a lot of the ingredients to direct heat. Yes, yeah. so you don't want it to burn. So if that burniness picks up, kids don't like that okay. at all. Okay. And uh, tell me a little about the piggy, piggy in the blanket. Or it's... So I have an idea of how I want to do them with the little snout of the piggy with the Vienna. Just rolling them in the same pizza dough yeah. with the pizza sauce and some sure. cheese. I think what I'm doing is what I would have liked to have at a party. Yeah. Yeah. Place to bake from. It's like what would I have loved as a kid. Yes. I think it gives a lot of good motivation. Hi Phoebe. Hi ladies. Hello. Ooh, all of this looks good. What are we up to? I'm here making toffee sweets uh, that will cut up and wrap them in parchment paper. And yeah, on the other side, pumpkin baked donut. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that pumpkin donuts with maple syrup. Oh, I love that combination. Yeah. And for kids, do we love um, hiding a vegetable, yes. something nutritious in the tree? So we're trying to get the kids to have a little bit of pumpkin while at the same time we'll thinking they have. <laughs> Max, you got some um, psychedelic colors mm. happening here. I do. We are doing a galaxy theme today. I Ooh. see it. I see the vision. We're just trying to kind of get the whole cosmos in one <laughs> layer of brown. <laughs> I'm hoping that the bright colors as well as the delicious flavors of our bakes really wow the children. I think kids eat with their eyes a lot, so I'm hoping that they just get really excited about the theme. Lizelle, so what are you My doing? My wrap broke as I tried to put it in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are we trying to do? So I want to do a three color meringue. Okay. But it has mixed now, but so let's see oh. how it comes out. It's, it's, just, gonna it's look too good. far gone now, hey? Yeah, no, it's not. Okay. Don't give up, don't give look up. Look at your hands. I oh, know, wash them, oh, they can be washed. <laughs> this is going wrong, the bag split, the meringue is going out the back, it's all over the place, all over the counter, I just hope it's going to work. Masejo? Yes. Looks lovely, waffles, Thank delicious, you. great idea. I see some dough balls. 
Nice. Yes, this is for my pizza. I'm gonna roll them out and pop them on a cast iron skillet. And then I'm gonna start frying my chicken. And my sauce is done. I just need to blend it down to get it nice and smooth. And then, yeah, finish off my waffles, roll out my dough, and assemble everything. Are you gonna call for reinforcements from your other team members? Because you're juggling a lot of balls right now. I'm hoping that one of them will be done with 45 minutes left to go so that they can jump on board and help me finish off my elements. Next up, has Lasejo bitten off more than she can chew? And will the blue team finish their bakes on time? Choose Parmalat for better meals, better desserts and better times together. Parmalat makes life better and better. Parmalat. I'm currently taking out the second batch of our donuts. So it's a cake donut and the hole in the middle is what actually makes it a little ring donut. I'm very happy with the way these came out. I was a bit nervous in the beginning because of the addition of the vermicelli, it did something, but it actually made it better. It's my recipe, so I wasn't nervous. Oh, love the recipe, Molly, I love it. <laughs> oh, you're doing it that way. Yay. Okay, that's cute. Cool as hell. <laughs> Thanks, Damien. I can do it again, but I'm going to do a little bit of work. To leave you with your sticky mess. Thank you. <laughs> it's the halfway mark, guys. You've got one hour to go. Let's go! One hour to go! Are you making pops? Cookies. Yeah, this is an oh, oh, cookies. Okay. Oh, fun. Is there a yeah. theme in terms of decorations for no. your, your team? Uh, no, we, we didn't really go for theme, more for colours. Yeah. Come look if you're happy, guys. Yeah, but you're not going to make them all purple, eh? No. I'm asking. There's different colours. I'm asking. <laughs> Say yes or no. No, my like darling, I'm not fancy. all going to make them one colour. Is your popcorn burning? <laughs> yeah. I've got three pots with various temperatures of oils and popcorn kernels going. They're all burning. How can all my pots be burning? Sorry, guys. Who burns popcorn? It's the easiest thing to make. And it's stressing me out because it's just popcorn. Ooh. Oopsie daisy. I heard kids love smoked popcorn. So I was kind of <laughs> trying to go for that flavor combo so that we can really just knock it out the park today. I, I think someone's boycotting you, but... Uh, <laughs> So how are we flavoring the popcorn? Um, so this popcorn is gonna become like space rock popcorn. Mm. So I'm gonna add colored white um, chocolate to it. I'm gonna add choc chips. I'm gonna add sprinkles. It's kind of gonna set and I'll just break like chunks okay. and then put it into these cute little containers, imagine. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> I kind of wish I was having a birthday party again because I never got parties like this. Oh, you didn't? No. How come? Just because your, your parents weren't into? They weren't into me, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, true spot. <laughs> Mommy, you watching this? I didn't mean it. So are you channeling your inner child and what you would have wanted and that's what, what you're sort of drawing inspiration from? I actually am. Like, how fun are these strawberries? I'm having so much fun with this theme and the colours. I think putting chocolate on the strawberries is going to be the way for them to take in the fruit. Where does my Ola? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, baked donuts here. Interesting that both teams chose to do baked donuts versus fried. Why did you choose the baked version? Fried donuts take a bit of time, they need to yeah. crawl, you need to knead, so yeah, given the, the challenge, no. And it's a healthier option. I wouldn't market it yeah. as a pumpkin donut. Oh, to the kids? Absolutely not. That's how we get our veggies into our kids. Mm. Like, Ooh, like a donut, no pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they have trust issues. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, your secret center cupcakes. So what's going on top? I'm making the frosting, different colors, and make it as well to give it that galaxy feeling. Okay. Yeah, Yo, that's fun. So while my dough is resting and rising, I'm moving on to making marshmallows. We had a debate about whether we should do meringues or marshmallows. And I think Lazar wasn't too confident in doing marshmallows. So I said, uh, if I have time after doing the savory elements, I will do the marshmallows because I'm confident in doing them. My savory elements aren't done yet, but I have time to spare. So Nolan, these beautiful little marshmallows here, they look fantastic. Have you made them before? No, sure. They My just need time. to set in time and... Yeah, I hope they set in time. Mm. Okay. Cool. 
I need to settle this debate that children love marshmallows over meringues. <laughs> I think even if I dip it in uh, peanut butter, apple and peanut butter, just make like a ganache with peanut butter and white chocolate. What's this called? The apple wedges. Yeah. Because we need like healthy stuff as well. I'm just going to make that cake pop first before I go to that. Yeah, egg. yeah, you carry on. Bye bye, donkey. Please, do you? I've never made these twisters before and I'm folding it over but it's not sticking how I wanted it to stick. I think I might have put too much cheese on but we'll only see after they bake. I would have hoped that the colours would be a bit brighter. That's why I actually started baking them with tinfoil over to preserve the colour. But because of the time I did put the heat quite high so that they would actually cook through because they're quite thick. So they're a little bit brown, but as soon as you cut the sides, you're going to also be able to see all the colors. I've finished making my marshmallows. I've made my sauce for my pizzas. I've twisted the pizza twists, and now I'm making my piggies in a blanket. Kids love Vienna's. They love a good hot dog. So I think they're going to enjoy it. Contestants, we only have 30 minutes to complete our bikes before we pack up and head out. Let's get there. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. I'm happy with my pumpkin donuts. Glad with how they came out. I love the shape. And then I'm going to drip them into the maple syrup uh, glaze. I'm busy piping cupcakes and also helping the Seho with the pizza base. Uh, it's just too much. I'm, I'm hoping that we're going to finish on time. I'm very frantic at the moment. Our chicken is not done. Our pizzas are not assembled. Our waffles are not chopped. So that's something I'm very stressed about. I'm hoping someone can come help me. Max. Yes, girl. Can you come help me? Yes, I just need to quickly finish this other color of popcorn. I'm only going to do two now. What does yeah. I do with this? I'm only making... But this must be cake pops. Still. Oh, Yay, no tell Damien. Damien, there's no time for this. Damien, but Lanzali's keeping us all in line, actually. She's one of those. Yeah, 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 this genoeg. She's one of those, so I, I need that. Is that the uh, <laughs> fifth item? Uh, the balls. No, that's like a seventh item. <laughs> no, we, I think we must stop now. <laughs> Agreed. We're so extra. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with this one. I do not trust Molly's brownie recipe. I think maybe I trust it like maybe 30%. Poor man's brownie, not in a competition, Molly. The oven is on. Please yes. pop these pizzas in the oven. Guys, 15 minutes. My cheese is melted. But I'm not panicking. Hopefully there will be some of these kiddies who love a lovely crisp cheese. 10 minutes to go. Come on, finish line come is on, close. Guys, come on, come on. <laughs> Kids love eyeballs and stuff. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and cookie did. monster cookies. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look. Nice this, touch, was, this wasn't planned. This actually just came along. Oh, that's a that's a good. When they when they addition. took the seventh item off their list, they decided, "Oh, we've got time for eyeballs." <laughs> nice, Yellow. Thank, Thank you. you. Looks good. Oh. Yummy. Oh, <laughs> are these Nolans? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. the pigs. Yo, that looks pigs nice. They're gonna love that. Damien, what is what's happening with the apples? Candy apples. Just a little. I don't see candy though. Chocolate dipped apples. Oh, chocolate okay. dipped apples. Oh, just a fresh element. Huh? Are oh, you removing Simon, the fork? you must stop now. What are you? Simon. <laughs> you guys are done there. Nolan's on track. That's out. So we're just adding one fresh thing. Can you kids need a bit of green, that. you know? Both Damien and Nolan have gone rogue with the apples. It's, it's not a bad idea. We just did not discuss that at all. Yeah, Damien. What? You can leave it, eh? Why don't you guys want so it? many elements. No, but you know how Nolan is. He wants to do in the whole planet. I don't think Lazelle and Molly are too fascinated with this idea. So the apples like Biki rustic, Biki need more of the water, and those need to not need, so we can it not use it. Guys, three minutes. I'm confident that the three things I was up to are done, but I wish I could have supported um, some other team members a bit more. At the moment, I'm just neatening though, because kids do eat with their eyes. Contestants, this is your last minute to complete this bake. And just remember, I want everything portioned and ready to serve. Come on, guys. Last push. Let's go. With seconds to go, we still have pizza in the oven. And the countdown is happening. Ten, Ten nine, nine, eight. I just go in there, grab the pan, put it on the counter with my hands, and I literally bend off my fingers. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Stop faking, everyone. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Ek is baie trots op die span. Van die element het ek nie eers gesien hulle het gedoen nie, want hulle was achter my. So ja, ek is baie happy en blij hoe ons saam gewerk het aan die einde om dit klaar te kry. Right, let's pack up our boxes and get to the party. I'm very happy with what came out, even the little extra cookie we did. Has now become a cookie monster. Very relieved that yeah. we actually managed to put all these things out. Yeah. It looks like quite a spread, so <laughs> I hope the kids like it. Yeah. I just saw the other teams run and it looks really good, so I'm a bit nervous. I'm not nervous. <laughs> I think our things look very good. I think the kids are going to enjoy it. I'm very happy with what we managed to pull given the time. On a personal level, I know I can do better. I think my waffles and chicken lack consistency, so that's my only thumbs down. But, but overall, I'm hoping the kids will enjoy. This, this was a great teamwork. I'm happy with my team. I think our galaxy theme comes through so nicely in all of our bakes, and it's fun and it's colorful, and I'm actually just so proud of the team for every single thing is executed so nicely, so super happy. You at home, get the kids involved and take part in this week's viewer competition. Bake your favorite kids party treat using royal baking powder. Upload it onto socials by replying to the competition post using the hashtag TheTasteMasterSA. You could win a KitchenAid stand mixer plus a palm love hamper worth a thousand rand. Happy baking! Next up, with a group of hungry kids waiting, our teams of four present their bakes. Share your love and creativity for baking. Bake more memories with tried and trusted Royal Baking Powder. Celebrating their 12th birthday this year, twin brothers Rian and Ryan have gathered their best friends together for a party they'll never forget, catered for by our Tastemaster contestants. But will the bakes live up to their hungry appetites? Mm. I am so impressed by what these guys were able to churn out in two mm. hours. I mean, and what a great location. The vibes are high. The children are having fun. They're yes. having a great time. <laughs> it's a real party. It's a real party. Yeah. yeah. I want to take a moment just quickly to get your thoughts on the actual challenge. How do you feel like the contestants did today? Firstly, I think they achieved a lot. Looking at all of this, there's so much. There's so many options, so many variations of things to go with. And they're also bright and colourful. I think these kids are definitely going to be spoiled for choice. <laughs> yeah, true story. It looks great, it smells great, yeah. so before we let the kids descend and have their party, let's do our tasting as judges, shall we? Let's bring on the red team. Mm. Mm. Going into the judging, I'm really excited to hear what the judges have to say because I'm really happy with how our spread looks. Well done, guys. This looks amazing. Fifi, what would be the first thing if you were a kid that you'd grab off your party table? Um, it would be cupcakes. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why. Who made those cupcakes? Not because I made them. Okay. What's a party without a cake? True. It's just a meeting, they yes. say. <laughs> right, guys. Let's go for it. Let's taste. I'm hoping that my cupcakes are going to impress the judges. They are colorful and I also think the kids will love it. Oh, cool. yeah. Yeah. Team Red, a wonderful spread, I think your idea of sort of um, frying off that dough for the pizza was a triumph. The texture was really lovely. That salami um, that you used, it's got sort of a spicy note to it and maybe that might be a little bit too much for kids, but you never know, the kids might love it. Um, I thought that your chicken and waffles was also a very sophisticated addition and your technicality when it came to executing the different bakes, well done. Thank you. Thank you. I loved the pumpkin donuts. They were absolutely delicious. They were soft and they were full of flavor. Uh, your sugar cookies, they had a nice bite to it, which is what I like. They still had their crispness. So I thoroughly enjoyed all the stuff you guys made. I was very proud of my bake. I knew it would be something that tastes amazing. Guys, great spread. So much fun. Those toffees, oh my word. Oh yes. Uh, cupcakes on point. Brownies were a little bit dry for me, guys. Strawberries, delicious, fresh, great uh, for the kids. I picked up uh, burnt popcorn. Mm.
I'm actually so frustrated because I checked that whole bowl of popcorn before adding all the chocolate and making them into moon rocks, but that's how it goes. Really well done, guys. Well done, Thank guys. You. Right, should we move on to blue team? Late. <laughs> A lot of mixed emotions from the judges. They like some elements, they don't like others. I don't know what that means for us. Hi guys. Hello. Hey. Hey. Nolan, the child inside of you had a field day today, am I right? Yes, it did. Yeah, you had a great Still time. having a field day. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is going to hit it out the park with the kids today? It's hard to say. Everything looks so lovely. I think they're just going to be drawn to, to our side of the table. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I mean, that's the that's way to think. That's what we want, and just to enjoy everything all around. So, um, let's take a taste. Yes. My heart is definitely racing, standing in front of the judges. First off, congratulations. Well done on an excellent effort, guys. With so many components, so well executed. I've got a bit of an issue with your savoury items. The shape of the cheese sticks caused that a lot of the cheese, you know, escape. Now it's predominantly bread. So I, I think the kids are going to react to that. I think they'll have a bite or two, but I think they'll maybe move to your Vienna bake. But guys, I mean, that little meringue might be the best I've ever had. It is so good. I mean, that texture and flavour is remarkable. Your donuts are so good. The flavour is so well balanced. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. I must say I love the googly eyes on the cookies. They kind of just brought them alive. So I, I really enjoyed them. Your brownies were nice and fudgy. Everything else was really good. Mm. For me, I love that you went the extra mile and you made your own homemade sauces. And that tomato sauce, A1, really delicious. Those meringues and those marshmallows and that bubblegum flavor, I turned into a kid after biting <laughs> that. But a wonderful effort, Team Blue. Well done. Well done. Well done. Thank you. I like to think that the judges enjoyed all of our bakes, but you really never know with this competition. Well, we've had our taste of this delicious feast. Now it's the kids' turn. Kids, come on. Dig it. <laughs> Kids are unpredictable, so I'm terrified. The first thing I think is pizza, because I like it. We always go for the pizza first. This is the best. My favorite thing of these is this one, because it tastes very nice. You've got a nice blue mouth here. What stands out to you in, in everything that you've had today? This um, chocolate muffin. Oh, it's a cupcake. Mm -hmm. And did you like the icing on top? Was it delicious? Oh, perfect. Perfect and pretty name. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this little donut here. What do you think about that? It's right. delicioso. Delicioso. Huh? But can I tell you something? Of course. Those mush, those marshmallows. Oh, I could die for them. The business, eh? I could okay. Get monster. Yeah. Ooh, and nice. Delicious. Mm -hmm. That blue all oh, makes that sweetness <laughs> kick in. You know what? The person who made this is the best. So, what was your favorite snack? Pizza. Pizza. Why do you like the pizza so much? It looked so cheesy and I love cheesecake. <laughs> oh, did you try anything else that was cheesy, like cheese sticks over there? Mm -hmm. And what are your thoughts? Uh, no, you well, that's okay. <laughs> and what was your favorite treat? Vienna puppets. What did you like about them? Vienna. <laughs> kind of when it's plain. Oh, they're just yummy. Mm -hmm. And did you try any of the sweet items? Uh, marshmallows. The marshmallows. And what did you think of the marshmallows? Oh, chef's kiss. <laughs> if you had to choose between the red table and the blue table, which do you think had your favorite items? Blue. Blue. Red. Red. Oh, we split. If you had to choose one thing, what was your highlight? The cookie. Which cookie? Ah, the blue googly eye cookie, the monster cookies. How about that little popsicle? It was good. But? But a little bit chocolatey. Too chocolatey for your taste? Yeah. Okay. Cody, tell me what was your absolute favorite thing that you ate today? The brownie popsicles. Okay. Um, is there anything that you didn't like that you ate today? 
the strawberries. Why? What is your, what have you got against strawberries? Everything. <laughs> but you chose to eat one anyway. Okay, we like a bit of adventurous palate. Um, if you were to have a birthday party of your own, which table would you choose? I would go with blue. The blue side? Okay, tell me why. Feels like a party. Oh, so, so the red doesn't feel like a party to you? What about it makes it not feel like a party? There's not that much desserts and there's a lot of savory dishes. Oh, interesting. Gentlemen, was this one of the best birthday parties ever? Yeah, yeah, it was the best, yes. it was the best. Mm. Everything good? Yeah, yeah. So, except this. Oh, interesting, <laughs> except that. Why would you say that? Why don't you like that? The pancakes is sweet. Yeah? And I thought it was a pizza. <laughs> okay, so you're very angry that they misled you by making it look like a pizza with chicken on it. I get that. I can feel that the injustice has been done. I saw you guys grab like a heap of pizza. That was your favorite, am I right? Yeah, yeah. Let's look at the sweets on the table here, guys. What attracted your attention? This one attracted my attention. Okay. I tasted it a little bit and thought okay. it was going to be better, but... Not just impressed. Yeah, not impressed. Just disappointed, gosh. Anything on this table that stood out to you that you thought, wow, this one. you that, enjoyed that cupcake? Yeah, that the color and the pinkish and blue go great together. That's some great feedback. Guys, I hope you had a great party. Everybody's wishing you a happy birthday and enjoy. Thank you. Kezia, if you were to choose between the red table for your party or the blue table for your party, which one would you pick? I think I'll go with the red table. Why? Because it's got more of a variety and I think I like more of the things on the red table. What is the one thing that you really didn't like of the things that you ate? I think it was the waffle and the chicken. Oh, but it's also on the red table. So even though you didn't like that, you still like the whole yeah. table overall. Okay, are you going to have anything else to nibble? Um, I think I'm going to have some of the Vienna poppers. Oh, from the blue table. Yeah. Wow, contradiction you are. <laughs> Go ahead, pick that out and have, have a seat. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> you at home, don't forget to join the party by taking part in this week's viewer competition. Bake your favorite kids party treat using royal baking powder. Upload it onto socials by replying to the competition post using the hashtag the TasteMasterSA and you could win a KitchenAid stand mixer plus a palm lot hamper worth a thousand rand. Happy baking and good luck! Contestants, well done. That was an excellent effort and I can assure you Rian and Ryan had one of their best birthday parties ever because of the work that you put together today. So congratulations. Well done, well done guys. So we took into consideration all the feedback from the kids and it was very valuable. We obviously look from a taste master's perspective and still very high level stuff guys. Well done. On that note, let's give you our verdict. Red team. We thought that you had an amazingly solid theme and idea. Your bakes were beautiful. They were fun to look at. I think the kids really enjoyed them. We felt like your pumpkin donut was an absolute triumph. We think that that was possibly the best bake on your table. I'm very happy with my feedback on the pumpkin donut. I knew it was going to win even before we went into the challenge. Blue team, another high level execution. Really, really well done. Your savoury items didn't hit it out the park today, even though great in theory, didn't come off like you wanted to, I'm sure. But in general, all your sweet bakes received a lot of high praise from a technical perspective. So, um, well done. I'm so emotional. I could have done better. I should have focused. The other team did so well. I let my team down. I'm sure you're all dying to hear who the winning team is. A reminder that the winning team will, of course, not be participating in the next elimination round. However, the four losing members will compete against each other. Today's winning team is... I'm a bit nervous, but I think we are going to win. The feedback that we got from the judges were positive. The hot gut wrenching feeling of standing there, two seconds feels like two years. Team Blue. <laughs> well done. 
I'm not going to elimination. This feeling. Thank you. Oh, can't believe it. Why it's so so? I'm very disappointed. Uh, at the same time, I'm trying to make sense in my head as in what could have happened, what actually made the blue team win versus us. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Team Blue, we felt that technically your sweet treats on your table were infallible. They were absolutely perfect and delicious. So you deserve today's win. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Each of you will be walking away with an AEG three-piece cookware set to challenge the expected in the kitchen. Yes. Well done. done. And of course, for the remaining members, your blue aprons to symbolize your win. Congratulations. And then finally, as a reminder of this day, a party pin. Thank you. There you go. Well done. So cute. Put that on. Finally, I have a blue apron. I can't believe it. Thank you, I know it suits me. <laughs> yeah, I can't look off from blood. <laughs> For the rest of you, we'll see you in the next elimination challenge. I'm a little bit worried going into the next challenge. I'm now the only one with a maroon apron, so that worries me a little bit. I'm not ready to go to another elimination challenge. Congratulations to our episode 5 viewer winner, Mandy Hertenbach Trent, who created a gingerbread creation inspired by the Greenpoint Lighthouse, complete with hand painted poor cup houses and table mountain. She wins her very own Kitchen Aid stand mixer and a prize hamper from Parmalat. Another feel good production.